some people, you know, claim it looks maybe like uh, he shouldn't be hitting a woman. Or yes, that's what I'm trying to say. But yeah. you can't get away with that because what about the intergender matches when there's a guy and a girl that are wrestling, you know, each other? So I don't understand what, what the problem is. All right, uh, guys, let's hop into the show here. Randy Orton, we got to talk about this, made his debut back in WWE in this past pay-per-view. Uh, what, first of all, the crowd went freaking nuts. That, that was a loud response for him coming back. Uh, your thoughts when you saw him walk out finally onto TV again for WWE? You talking about Survivor Series or Monday Night Raw? Well, uh, Survivor Series is, you know, that was the first place that he pops in, you know, and you finally get to see that he is there. Uh, you know, he's he's been promised forever by Cody Rhodes, and he finally shows up, and that's when that pop happened that I thought was just incredible. Blew everybody away. It was av- it was an RKO to the audience, so to say, in a positive way. They missed him so very much and uh, the fans were just dying to see that and then Monday night I've got to tell you something and I, I never thought I was going to say this uh, and a lot of people are going to go like yeah he's right but but I think he blew away the pop that CM Punk got on Monday night I think Randy Orton's ovation on Monday Night Raw was actually bigger than the one CM Punk, Punk got Punk got the biggest pop at the Survivor Series, a lot of yeah. people said that that took away from the um, took away from the main event, and a lot of people were were upset about that. But it's great to have Randy Orton back again. Tell you what were your thoughts? Yeah, well, I just uh, Randy's always uh, been a good friend of mine, man. We always got along. Uh, good little story about Randy. You know, I go when I was on the road. I went to the gym every day, so I, every day I'd go to a hotel. Every hotel I found, I tried to make sure they had a wash and dryer because I had to wash my my stuff, so I had my yeah. workout stuff. And so I guess I stayed somewhere in that hotel, and they didn't have a wash and dryer. So now I got my stinky gym stuff. I'm hauling it around all day in another separate bag, you know. So I'm trying to figure out that night whenever I get somewhere. Hope I can wash my stuff to work out with. And happen, Randy come and told me, said, "Come on, let's go on the bus." And we went on his bus, and come to find out, he's got a washing dryer on the bus. So oh, I had a chance to I had a chance to wash my gym stuff right on the bus, and I was straight for the next day. All right, That's he had cool. he had his own touring bus, didn't he? When he yes. was at when he was at the peak of his uh, career in WWE. Yes, and, and let's talk about his physical condition. He looked incredible i mean he is in shape that there you can't tell that he's had a back surgery uh and he actually was a double fusion back surgery and uh, he moved around the ring very well it, it looked really good on him it did his yeah, well, face looked a little uh heavier yes me. and he looked a little uh that he could be a little meaner looking when he scowled yeah yeah, he looked really good, man. So that means, you know, once he got over his surgery or whatever and was able to go back to the gym, he went right back to the gym. So that's a thing you got to do, too. You know, you can't quit working out, man. You got to keep on going and keeping yourself in shape because once you stop, you're like a car to gas. And I, I'm telling you. The big Where question does Randy about, Orton go from here, Bill? Uh, the big question where, where we, about here is when he was face-to-face with Rhea Ripley on Monday Night Raw, did you think he was going to hit the RKO on her? I, it, I didn't really, it didn't cross my mind, to be honest with you, because I didn't think they would show that anyhow. Or Why? They, Why would they, could. they do it? I, I don't know. Sometimes they just won't do that stuff. and They'll, they'll shy away from it. Well, it, some people, you know, claim it looks maybe like uh, he shouldn't be hitting a woman. Or, yes, that's what or, I'm trying to say. But yeah. you can't get away with that because what about the intergender matches when there's a guy and a girl that are wrestling, you know, each other? So I don't understand what, what the problem is. And then well, you got to know this. If he hit the, the RK owner, you know what I mean? It's entertainment. Now, he has hit the RKO, though, hasn't he, on uh, other ladies before, has he not? Is, 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 has sure. Stephanie taken one? I wonder. Fans, sure. hey, look, uh, remind us if if he has. I I'm not sure if he ever has hit the RKO on a on a female participant. I really do not know that. Maybe, sure. maybe May Young had uh, had it. 
Let me well, ask you though, where do we... I, you know what? And I'm just let like, we'll move on. But I'm just thinking, you know. See, I think that you know, I don't think he should have did last night or whatever. It's a little too quick. But I think if that does happen, that's not going to hurt him or, or Rhea Ripley because that lets I me agree. know this. If he hits her with that thing and he gets a tremendous pop, then that lets me know she's got major heat. <laughs> you know you what know I mean? What? So that's, that's what it's all about. He could go to RKO uh, someone from Judgment Day and miscalculate and she could get the RKO. Well, she could step in, try to break it, try to break it up, and he ends up hooking her. Yeah. 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 That's the way to do it, man. I, like you know, that. Like, I, like I understand that. what Bill's saying, but yep. yeah, you gotta you gotta come on out of them days, man. It's uh, everything's changed now. But well, let me ask you, where does Randy go from here, though? What what where do we see him starting to get a setup uh, in the push for WrestleMania? Who do we see him with? Well, Judgment Day right now looks like that's where his vision is set. So. Uh, Damian Priest and he have issued major issues against each other. And uh, I don't know. I mean, they could. And this is something that I'm just thinking of when we're talking. Like Damon, uh, Damian Priest cashes in that, uh, uh, that Money in the Bank briefcase on one of the champions and beats him. Randy Orton beats him and Randy Orton becomes a uh, uh, champion again. So... Maybe, because right now he is over so huge, and I don't think that's going to dissipate at all. No. Teddy, do you think we'll see him remain as a face uh, character between now and uh, WrestleMania, or do you think a heel may turn may come? Well, I don't know yet. You know what I mean? I think it's uh, too <laughs> early to call because he just come back, and uh, right now we don't even really know that, what direction they're going to go in. Uh, who Correct. They're going to, you know, they're, they're going to put him with. Um, you know, I just see it maybe uh, with Damian Priest. I do see that. Uh, there's a little bit of history there. Uh, and I also see him maybe with L.A. Knight. You know what I mean? Somebody has is, is got an L.A. Knight. I see that's a big future in him. And they've got to get him right. And I think with him yeah. and Randy Orton would get L.A. right. Because first of all, he would learn from Randy Orton a lot and that's what he needs to do he needs to also be a good competitive worker plus learn a lot and you have to get in the ring with guys that know this stuff so you can learn from them so uh i i don't know but uh you know you got punk that just come back and uh randy's hot and then both of these guys are right now the talk of the town so you know you just never know well teddy you just said something that brings me to something that i've said to friends in the last couple of days since punk and Randy Orton came back. I wonder if this is going to hurt the push that they've given L.A. Knight, where he's going to be moved down uh, further on the card because they'll be concentrating on Randy and Punk. Well, I don't think so. You know, I think you can concentrate on Randy and Punk, you know, but you still got these other guys here like L.A. Knight, Damon Priest, Dominic Mysterio, all these guys. You got them to think about, too. You got the bloodline. Those guys are split up. You got all them to think about. So there's a lot of things that people, you know, that that can be done there. So I don't think it'll just be the Randy Orton and CM Punk show. I think everybody will be involved, but just maybe Randy and CM Punk may be the, the highlight of the night. But I don't think you don't think L.A. Be. Knight, L.A. Knight is kind of uh, that punk and uh, Orton is stealing their thunder, his thunder rather. Well, could be and could not be. Randy and Punk are established. OK, they're a brand. You know, L.A. Knight is trying to get there. And so I don't think that'll hurt him at all. I think anything they do with L.A. Night Force, if he goes with Punk or Randy, it's all the thing is going to do is elevate him. It's going to help him. Yeah. Here's what I think, uh, you know, because Bill and, and Teddy, you're both talking about possibilities and where we might go with things. And, and when CM Punk showed up, there were a lot of things that went through my mind in fantasy booking now for WrestleMania. I mean, let, let's say that... Uh, that WrestleMania will be the Rock and Roman Reigns. Because if we could have a match that we want for uh, WrestleMania, that would be the big match right there. So if that were to happen, that means Cody's got to have a dance partner. And I could see CM Punk and Cody being another big draw at WrestleMania. You could also have Randy Orton versus Logan Paul at WrestleMania. That's three huge matches already. Seth versus... Uh, 
L.A. Knight was one that I penciled in. I couldn't figure it out, but I kept thinking Seth and L.A. Knight might be interesting. I don't know because they're both good on the microphone. That could make it a very interesting and entertaining type of match, I think. That's just me. And, uh, of course, Jimmy versus Jay.